Hey, this is Corey Lamley with Life in the Grid, and in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating some techniques that I use to rapidly prototype different layouts and different techniques for setting up your website. And this, this technique can be used by advanced designers or people who are brand new to blogging. In fact, it's going to save anyone and everyone quite a bit of time in your workflow, especially as you're cranking out articles and doing different things with your website. So what I like to do is I like to grab a screen capture and I use a tool called Snagit. Now you can use any screen capture tool that you want. I like Snagit because it has some in-depth pinpointing details of how you can grab screenshots. So I'll grab a screenshot of the area that I would like to maybe make some additions to or get some ideas from. Now is what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump out to one of the stock photo websites and download a comp. I like to use iStock Photo and I'm going to grab another screenshot here. So as all we're doing is we're just grabbing screenshots and I'm going to grab this guy here. I'm going to copy him, jump back to the original image that I screen capped and I'm just going to go ahead and paste him in here. So as what I do is I go ahead and shrink up this image down to the size that I need and you can see now as I put it in here it's a good uh, replacement for seeing what another image would look like. Now, this stuff doesn't have to look perfect. It just gives you an idea. Now, I didn't have to log into any administration tool or mess with some type of WYSIWYG editor. I was able to get the idea right here without doing any type of um, editing on an um, HTML file. So this is just a technique that I like to use to rapidly replace and move items in the site. And you can use this easily with any type of screen capture tool. Okay, so we're going to run through another scenario of uh, screen capture prototyping. And the scenario that we're going to run through this time is say you wanted a new widget on your website. It could either be for yourself or for your customer. And one of the things that you don't want to spend a lot of time on is downloading these widgets, configuring them, spending all the time getting them set up only to displace them because you don't like the way they look on your site or the aesthetics of the way that it's flowing in your web page just doesn't look good. So you can save yourself a lot of time and see what it's going to look like ahead of time by doing some simple screen captures. Now, say for example, this, this page that I'm looking at here didn't have this um, social plugin that we see over here on the left side, or say we wanted to change it up. Well, I can go ahead and grab a screenshot of this page. We're going to go ahead and use Snagit here to grab a screenshot of this particular page. I'm going to load this guy up. And I can jump out to any one of the plugins that I'm looking at. In this case, I'm looking at a WordPress plugin called Slick Social Share Bar. Well, most of the time, most authors are going to have screen captures of their plugin. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and grab a quick screenshot of this plugin. And I can do that by doing a print screen. And the thing that I like about um, uh, Snag is it has this pinpoint accuracy. So for in this example, I don't want to grab the um, border that we see. See how this is zooming in on the corner? I don't want to grab that outer border because I want a more realistic feel. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in there. And now you can see on this other end how it's zooming in there. I can use my arrow keys to navigate around and grab only the section that I want. So I grab that section. I copy it. I'm going to go back to the page that I originally copied. And now I'm just going to paste this plugin right here. And as what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go ahead and position it right kind of where I would want it and throw it in right there. And now, if I go ahead and move down to here just a little bit, just for some accuracy sakes, I can see that this plugin I like. You know, um, it's not too bad. It's, it, uh, it's, it's a little bit different than the other one. I don't know if I like the fact that it comes out this far on the left hand side, but it's okay. And the thing that really saved me a lot of time was that I didn't have to download that plugin. I didn't have to install it. I didn't have to go through the whole process of trying to set it up. I can see what it looks like very quick, very quickly and effectively and get the process and the visual that I need. And this is why screen capture prototyping is very powerful and you should really try to integrate it into your workflow. So that is a quick demonstration of screen capturing a widget and prototyping it into your website. Okay, so I'm going to show you another set of tools that I really like to use. They're 
they're my favorite tools by far, and they're the developer tools that come with Chrome. Now, there are some additions in other browsers, such as IE, and Firefox has one called Firebug, and they're, they're somewhat similar. I've really fallen in love with the developer tools for Chrome because they spend so much time on perfecting these tools, and they've really come a long way. Now, you can see these tools by right-clicking anywhere in a Chrome browser and coming down here to the Inspect Element, and what this will do is it will open up a set of tools that you can use to edit your page. Now, you don't need to be familiar with all of these tools. Um, the only one that, for this particular demonstration that you, we're going to be using is this Elements tab right here. And as what this does is this helps us pinpoint different parts of our website. So I'm going to show you an example of the way that I move assets around in a website just to get the feel of what uh, something might look like if I move it around. And the way that you're going to do this is you're going to come down here and grab this magnifying glass. It's called an inspector element. You're going to click on it and it will begin to allow you to select any object in your website. So if I click right here on this image, it will go down and find the specific image that is being wrapped or the div or whatever it is that makes up this element right there in our HTML. And the great thing about this tool is that you can do this on a live production site and it's not going to change anything. The only person that's going to have the final view of this is you because it's all in memory. It's right there on your browser. So is what you can do is you can minimize in Chrome, you can actually minimize the view of a page. And I like to minimize the page a couple, couple notches so I can get a better view. And say, for example, this newsletter sign up right here. Say I wanted to move this up above this Welcome to Life in the Grid. Well, I don't want to do this on a production site, and I currently don't want to log out to a development site and mess with all the administration tools to do that. I just want to get a quick feel for this. I need to do this fast and effectively. So I can do this by coming down to the Inspect tool, grabbing this guy, and then highlighting, just grabbing something that's close to where it's going to be, highlighting that section, and then you can hover over any one of these elements and find out where the full breakdown of that widget is. And I can grab this widget right here, and I can move it all the way to the top here. So move it all the way to the top of my uh, sidebar here, and you can see now it's up at the top. And this is a great technique for being able to see what something might look like. Um, you can move any one of the widgets anywhere you want in the site and get a quick feel for what is going on. And this doesn't impact anybody who's browsing your site. Only you see this. Now, the tool is great for doing all kinds of stuff. So say we wanted to hide a specific asset on our website. Say we had this uh, icon up here and we just didn't like the way that it was looking or we wanted to temporarily remove it. Well, we don't want to jump out to our HTML and make tons of changes. We just want to see what it looks like on the fly. So you can come down here to this section over here and immediately the element that is being selected will have an instant style and you can edit those styles very quickly and you don't need to be a CSS guru to do a lot of this because if I select this particular element and I start to type I can double click right in here and I start to type it will start to give me a IntelliSense of all the options that I have so lots of times you just need to kind of know something uh, very basic about CSS like what would change uh, the color of something you could just start typing color and it would begin to show those so if I hit tab here it's gonna go to the next uh, setting so um, you can go ahead and set it equal to none and you see up there in the corner it just disappeared and so this gives me a quick view of what it would look like in order to have that set up. So wrapping up this video, I just want to mention that if you're not the developer or the designer on your website, you can hand these ideas over to your developer so that they can more rapidly give you the design and the layout that you're looking for. You don't want to spend the time or the money paying them or yourself um, trying to set up all this stuff in the back end when you can really crank it out in just a picture based model because remember the workflow is the heart of any successful business and anytime we can get our processes down quicker faster and more effective we're gonna see a lot more productivity come out of our business so I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have any comments please leave them in the comment section of this video and have a fantastic day